have a couple of questions. First of all, I love you. How do I feel I'm like, kind of like stuck with the house, my job, and the same level of money? I'm trying to figure out how to get around that. Well, you're too far down the road. In other words, if everything's coming to your point of attraction, and when you think about your house, you feel bad, and when you think about your job, you feel bad, and what was the other thing? Oh, money, yeah, money. Oh, yeah, money. money. You feel bad. So then talking about those things just gets all twirled up in your vibration, and so you can't get there from there. Do you believe this invisible vortex? That really is the question. Do you believe that yes. there is a vibrational version of what you want? And do you believe that there is a viable path to it? Yeah. And so can you see how you've got to find some way of not getting yourself all aggravated and preventing yourself from feeling your way along the path? So if you hit it too head on, if you get too focused on money or job, then you hold yourself in that perpetual vibration that just won't let it in. So you have to find some way of getting back to something where you're not resistant of, of bringing these subjects into more general, more general, more general, more general conversation mm -hmm. so that you're not blocking them by your attention to the detail. Do you get it when we say every subject is wanted and unwanted yes. because the wanted could not exist without the unwanted and the unwanted could not exist without the wanted. So you're trying to find some way of focusing between the unwanted and the wanted. And you can tell by the way you feel which way you're leaning more toward. So the key is maybe to start from the unwanted and try to talk yourself into something that feels better. Well, sometimes I feel like this way and then sometimes I feel like this way. Kate played a game with Jerry and Esther for a while. She hit a button in the great room at the conference center. And then she would play the game warmer, colder for one or the other of them to find it. Mm -hmm. You're getting warmer, you're getting warmer, you're getting colder. Of course, warmer meant they were closer, colder meant they were further. And every time they found the button, every time, because Kate knew where it was and was giving good clues. Your inner being knows where it is and is giving good clues. It really is that simple. So we're going to warm this conversation up. So you just talk, pick one, pick whichever subject is most important to you. Um, the Pick one, anyone. We don't care. We don't care okay, if you, um, anyone. Same level, the money. Money. So you're the only person that cares about this, but we're going to, <laughs> we're going to talk about it anyway. Okay. So our plan here is for you to softly, because you're already in an environment of feeling good, softly talk about money in a way that's warmer and warmer and warmer. And you get what we mean by that, yes? Mm -hmm. So just start talking and we'll just guide you like Kate did, warmer, colder, warmer, colder. So you just talk generally. And if you want to, talk like you usually do about money. Talk to us like we're the friend you're having lunch with. Talk to us about money. Okay. <laughs> the income stays the same, but my checking account seems to get bigger and bigger and more things like I, there's more sales that come, there's more savings and so therefore there's more money in that way. Warmer, um, that's warmer. Uh, but we're asking you to talk like you usually do so that we can uh, pounce on you <laughs> in a really good demonstrable way. Okay, well, it feels like with the economy and everything. It felt All right, like now that's cold, isn't it? <laughs> with the economy the way that it is because that's completely out of your control. So that just went as cold as it can get. Okay. So warm that up. So take that and warm it up. Warm that up. Warm that up. There are people who thrive in bad economies. Mm -hmm. That's warmer, but it was way too warm for where you were. You were in such a cold place. So you got to make it more general. Just gently try to move into a warmer place from the economy. The job market's getting better. Do you believe that? Yes. Yeah, so it is, isn't it? The job market's getting better. That was a warm comment. That's a warm comment and you're on your way. What else would you like to say in warm tones or in any tones? You'll get warmer, colder, warmer, colder, but eventually you'll get a warm track going. So just keep talking. Uh, there's more sales now than there were before. Warmer. Things are getting better. More opportunities are out there. Definitely warmer. Turns out it's a lot easier than you thought. <laughs> I know I'm in the process of selling the house, so the more money will be coming in then. Well, that's a little colder because there are unknowns in that. Mm. So you all get it that you could 
seem to please us by giving lip service <laughs> that you know what the right words are in other words he knows he's on the spot and he's not gonna tell us anything that he's been feeling <laughs> but the universe doesn't hear what you say the universe hears what you mean and so you've got to shift this you've got to talk about this in a way that you feel movement in other words you've really got to make yourself feel better about this and sometimes the topic of money is a hard topic to start with that because is. you've practiced it the other way for so long and it has so many tentacles into your experience so it might be better to start with another subject so pick a more general subject not any of those on your list in other words what's a more general subject than money my health what's a more general subject than money that's sort of about money so let's talk about abundance not just financial abundance okay. let's talk about the abundance we were talking about how backed up you are how many things are flowing to you in other words there is a lot of evidence of well-being in my life experience I'm the recipient of a lot of well-being do you believe that yes. so give us a warm conversation about that let's get some momentum on that tell us about how you feel about that and do it on purpose in other words reach for things that you really mean that you sincerely feel that support your belief that you are in a good place in other words universe I'm trying to convince myself I'm trying to prepare my point of attraction for all the things that I want to come so I'm gonna start with the things that are sure for me I usually have a job is that true yes I'm usually employable I have enough talents that I always find work doesn't that feel good yes doesn't that feel good mm -hmm. abundance comes to me in ways other than money in what other ways does abundance come to you my health your house my health your physical well-being what else well -being. what else um, I always have plenty of food to eat my house friends uh, friends you have good friends yes good conversation yes you got picked out of a big room full of people yes I did that's a great thing <laughs> I got a good point of attraction going I met, I met my soulmate this year that's another good thing that's warm <laughs> that's warm so does it feel like anything shifted yes just in this amount of focus your point of attraction is different right now you shifted the momentum you changed the momentum you did it on purpose just by focusing your point of attraction shifted now we tell you that your point of attraction shifted but do you know it and how do you know now this is an interesting environment in which to know it because there are a lot of dynamics yeah. going on in that you're on the stage you're in what we call the hot seat you're on the spot so yes. to speak but still you feel good don't you yes I do you feel good and so if it is true and it is that you are the center of your universe and you are mm -hmm. and if you've put a lot of things in your vortex we're talking about the things on your list like abundance yes. if it is true that those things are in the vortex and that they have been making their way to you is it logical to you that they are now making their way in a stronger way that you're allowing them more smoothly than you were just a few minutes ago yes. and so given that understanding then that means that the vibration of your vortex must be beginning to be realized by you translated by you and the first translation is in the form of just feeling better the second translation will be in the form of ideas that flow to you so just sit for a moment and just receive those soothing ideas what are you hearing I feel that maybe there might be a better job out there that's gonna help. all right so that's your mother you're hearing <laughs> 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 well you're translating that more is coming that's what you heard more is coming, more is coming. help is on the way mm -hmm. there are opportunities there for you there mm -hmm. are opportunities there for you no need to get in a big hurry about it can okay. you feel that yeah. can you feel that we're not asking you if you're hearing it from Esther's translation of mm -hmm. it we're asking you if you're getting any sense of that yeah. given the work that you just did you see I'm it's, trying to rush it that's the problem it's just <laughs> fine for you to come and present what you want to 
us and it's fine for Esther to receive our answer and speak it to you and maybe you sort of kind of hear it and maybe you don't but what we really want you to understand is that when you ask it is given to you and in this state of soothed vibration you're likely to feel the impulse now the impulse will come in the form of ideas you'll get an idea about something or you'll be driving somewhere and you'll get an impulse to go there given the resistance that most of you have you're not going to go right to the answer that you want but you'll go to something that leads 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 to something and all the places that you're going will be enjoyable along the way you see mm -hmm. unless you're beating up on yourself for not going directly there sometimes I do that too <laughs> colder I know <laughs> warm that up I always think better thoughts to, to get out of those uh, beating up see what we mean about sloppy thinking <laughs> It's all right. Everybody does it. So often you have people in your life that say, tell me the truth. Yeah, sometimes I do that. We will never say, tell us the truth of your existing reality. Because the truth of your existing reality is preventing you from your true reality. So we're asking you to find the path of least resistance to who you really are. We're not asking you to explain how you got here. It's like somebody's put enough of you on the spot. Tell me the truth. I want to know. I want to know. Tell me how you feel. No, I want to know how you feel. Afraid of you. <laughs> <laughs> we want you to soothe yourself. So say words that are warmer. <laughs> it's not easy, is it? It's like if a train's going 80 miles an hour that way, you don't want it to all of a sudden go 80 miles an hour that way. It's hard on the contents of the train to shift that abruptly and it's not even in terms of physics a possible thing it's going to slow down and then it's going to speed back up but we just want to make you aware okay. that you can soothe yourself more with your own thoughts and words and you've got to soothe yourself into letting the abundance in that you want and deserve and you don't soothe yourself in to letting the abundance in that you want and deserve by talking about how bad things are or by talking bad about yourself about your inability to do anything you see got to look for the evidence of it so you want to talk more you want to go into a general place into a really general place about your point of attraction yeah I, yeah like I always say things are getting better and things are coming to me and perfect unfolding and things are just happening now do you believe him do you believe him? It's all right because you're trying to say too much too soon. Okay. And that's when effort gets involved. Then you start really trying hard. And then the more you try, the more you contradict. So tell us something good, something soothing, something really, really warm and soothing that you really, really mean, that you really mean, that's easy for you to say, that you mean it. I love life. Yeah. I love life. Tell us something else. I'm a happy person for the most part. Yeah, that's for sure true. I'm a happy person for the most part, unless I'm thinking about money. Yes. <laughs>